You should really know about proxies, okay? Here's why. Here I have some footage that we shot for our film Thug Life. And if we go into the metadata here, we'll see that this is 6K Blackmagic RAW, which plays back surprisingly well for being 6K RAW. However, this is not always the case. Sometimes things play back a little bit chunky, and depending on how much color work you're going to do on it, if you're going to do speed ramping, there are a lot of reasons why this might not play back decently. So what I like to do just to make things a little bit simpler is make proxies. Now, the proxy workflow in Resolve is freaking awesome. If you don't know what a proxy is, it's basically taking this footage and converting it to a smaller file, one that's probably less resolution and that's easier to play back for Resolve, so that you can make your edit with the easy to use kind of smaller version, and then you can switch it out later with the big version. This used to be kind of a big annoying thing that you'd have to do, but in Resolve 18, it's so nice, and I just, I need to make sure you guys know about it. So there are a couple ways that you can make proxies in Resolve. Probably the easiest is to just right click on any clip and select generate proxy media. And that will convert a version of this clip into a proxy and then it will switch it out. Now I already have proxies made for all of these and you can tell by this little icon here that's a camera with a film strip next to it. That means that there's a proxy file linked. And this kind of happens invisibly. So if you open up a piece of footage, you can scrub back and forth and look at this. It just plays back so easily. Look at that. So great. Whereas if we don't have the proxy and we scrub this back and forth, you see it gets pretty chunky. See where there's some problems. So this is no proxy and this is with the proxy. Look at that. Such a big difference. So a couple things to mention about how proxies work. One is you can select multiple clips like this, right click and say generate proxy media. But what that will do is it will make a proxy based on your settings. And there are a couple different places to look for proxy settings. One is in your project settings. Down here, we'll click on the cog. And here under master settings, about halfway down is the optimized media and render cache. And you wanna set a couple of these. I like to set proxy media resolution to half. You can make it smaller if you want to and the proxy media format to H.264. And then under working folders, make sure that it's putting these proxies somewhere that you like. So this is set to cache proxy media, which is where I want it to be. So then I can hit save. Now, anytime that I right click and then I tell it to generate proxy media, it's gonna make a half resolution H.264 file. And it's gonna put that where I tell it to. Our project settings say that it's going to be under cache proxy media but there's also a hidden setting. Up here in the upper left, if we click on DaVinci Resolve and go to preferences, here under system, under media storage, we have our media storage location. And towards the bottom, we have the proxy generation location. By default, I think this is on use project setting. So that will go into that folder that we selected before. But what I like to do is put proxy subfolders in media file locations like this. What this will do is anytime that we generate a proxy, if I open this file location, right next to our original media, it'll make a proxy folder. And if I open that, those are all of our proxies. Now, that's nice because we always have our proxies in the same folder as our high res, but it's also really nice because this is where Resolve looks for proxies by default. So it looks for a piece of media, and if there is a proxy folder in that same directory, it's going to look for a matching name in the proxy folder. And if it does have a matching name, then Resolve's gonna know that, hey, that's probably the proxy for this file. And so it will automatically load those proxies and you can have this nice smooth playback and you don't have to relink proxies or anything like that. Because what you can do is right click and unlink the proxy media or relink the proxy media. And then you just tell it where that media is. Say if somebody made proxies on a different system or whatever, you can go and kind of reconnect them. But when the proxies are saved in the same folder, then it kind of automatically knows where they are. This is also really cool because of a little utility called Blackmagic Proxy Generator. This is an app that comes with Resolve, and this even comes with the free version of Resolve, although there are some limitations that can't read like an H.265 file. But if you can open up the files in the free version of Resolve, Proxy Generator will also accept those files. And in this Proxy Generator, what's really cool is we can designate a watch folder. A watch folder is just a folder that the Blackmagic proxy generator is constantly looking at as long as it's open and started. And it looks for any new files. And anytime there's a new file, it will convert it into a proxy. And guess where it puts those proxies? It puts them in a folder called proxy right next to the original media. And so what's really cool is you can have the proxy generator working in the background 
as you're importing footage and you can set this watch folder to wherever you're dumping your footage and it will create proxies on the fly as you dump footage. And then when it's time to edit, you already have proxies made. This is like the slickest way to do it, man. I just cannot say enough how great this workflow is. And what's really cool is if you forget, just like I do, to unlink these proxies or to not use them or whatever, it doesn't matter because when you go to deliver and you go to render, it's going to automatically switch back to the high res footage unless you tell it not to. If we scroll all the way down and go to advanced settings, we can tell this to use our proxy media or even our optimized media if we want to or render cache images, whatever we want. But by default, this is off. That means that you don't have to switch out of proxies um, ever if you don't want to. You can just edit with proxies and then export it and the export will look good. Couple other things. If you wanna switch between your proxy and your high res, you can go up to playback. And here under proxy handling, there are three options. Disable all proxies, prefer proxies or prefer camera originals. I never really prefer camera originals, but if I disable all proxies, then it's just like I don't have those proxies, right? And I can look at my high res footage. And again, I can just kind of scrub back and forth and we see it's a little bit laggy, but I still have the proxies kind of hooked up behind the scenes. And so I can at any time go to proxy handling, prefer proxies, and here we have our little icons showing up. And now we have the proxies. It's just like a seamless way to switch this out. Oh, it's so good. So if you haven't played with proxies, I would really recommend doing that because, you know, a couple years ago, I feel like it was kind of a big deal. It's kind of annoying to work with proxies. But now that we're getting, you know, 6K and 8K stuff pretty common, and since the proxy system in Resolve is such an easy way to work, I would take a few minutes and make proxies for everything. Well, I mean, why not? You're gonna have better performance. And if you can stand to wait a few minutes while you're dumping footage, honestly, we use the proxy generator and we just have the watch folder be whatever folder we're dumping to. And we have proxies by the time we're done dumping cards anyway. So it's just kind of a no brainer. So if you haven't checked out proxies in Resolve, I definitely recommend doing that. By the way, if you want some workflow tips in Resolve, we actually just came out with a brand new course called Pro Editing Workflow in DaVinci Resolve. And you can learn more about that right here. It goes through so much good wisdom for how to work faster and more efficiently in Resolve, how to make better things in less time. Until then, well, I hope that your playback is smooth. Criminal like that song. <laughs>